Hi, good afternoon, everybody. So today I'm going to explain to you or help you and advise you. And again, no professional, just a person. So I just want to show you how to do a driveway. And I've had experts help me along the way and given me guidance. So it is not just all me. So what I'm going to show you first, miraculously, um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you my lot here. This is my lot. There I am. Just cleared. That's it. We also stake the house, but today is driveway. So you got to get the driveway in before the house goes in to get concrete trucks up. Sounds like a simple concept, but it's not. So I want to show you what I'm doing today. So today I'm going to show you that I bought this paper online. It is a fabric grade paper. It's more like when you feel it, it's uh, more like a tarp paper. Okay. So it's just a tarp. Um, you can order it. I ordered mine online. It, they came in 100, 108 foot rolls, 13 feet wide. Okay. So this is how you build a driveway. Ready? So what you're going to do first is whoever's on your, your lot, they are going to carve out and pull off you need to pull off the topsoil. The topsoil has a bunch of crap in it that the world may never know. <laughs> it's amazing. So right after you strip that, you're, that's why it carves out your driveway. But funny enough, when you do do your driveway, you're never going to know how deep it really is. Okay, so don't over worry about how big the trench is because you're going to fill it full of stuff nobody's ever going to see. It's amazing how much money goes into the ground. Okay, so what I started off with is this fabric. I just put it down I because I am extending my driveway to get to the site because we didn't know how far to go with the driveway to get to the site. So now we're in a better spot of knowing where we're going to stop before we dig the driveway. Okay, so here's the paper that I'm talking about right here. Like again, it feels like a tarp. A good quality you roll it out i also used um oh you can see this guy coming up these suck but this is all you can get or what i've seen so they're like these little little notches here to hold it in place i highly recommend big stones too on your property if you have stones please put down stones to help hold it down so that i'm doing this tonight and tomorrow morning my found my driveway is going to go in Tomorrow morning, I don't want my tarp all over the place. So put in the work today, added an extra couple stones. So if the wind blows or anything, we're in a good spot. So tomorrow, what's being delivered? So I've got about two more truckloads, two truckloads coming in tomorrow. And if you have a really good um, stone guy, so I'm going to call him a stone guy, stone woman, whatever founder you're buying your stuff from, they are going to help you okay if somebody is not going to help you go to somebody else okay because this is the miracle of doing it yourself people that want to help you are the right people that you want to work with okay so <laughs> what i'm doing tomorrow is three inch minus that's what it's called in this three inch minus that's coming in two loads of it okay so i'm going to show you what two loads looks like so you can see where my car is located okay all the way to the paper up oh, there's my sidekick all the way to the paper that's two loads that's going to cost me about twelve hundred dollars just for two loads and that's delivered not including the guy that's going to roll it out okay so some serious money so you expect it unfortunately so this this three inch minus that i'm talking to you about this three inch this three inch minus is a very I wouldn't call it unique. It's not unique. People can get it. But what it is, is it's going to help you with wet. So this is your foundation of making sure the foundation of your driveway. And now look what it looks like. It's amazing. It looks like dirt. But what's in this dirt is three inch stone. Okay. Doesn't look appealing. It's a lot of money. I went about six inches deep. That was the recommendation. My recommendation, especially in my area, six inches deep, you don't have to go that deep. You could probably get away with four inches. But with that being said, I wanted the perfect foundation because no matter what I put on here, 
I'm still starting off with the same base foundation, which is amazing because even if I had to pay this, pave this years later, this is still the foundation that you're going to require in order to even pave. It's so amazing. A lot of money goes into it, into the ground. I hope that helps. So tomorrow we will be further down the driveway. And thank you.